everyone. Thanks for watching my next installment of Freestyle Step. My name's Stephen, and today I'm going to be showing you a step routine that is developed and designed around using two steps. Teaching a freestyle class on two steps has been around for a little while now, and I just wanted to go back and have a look at ways that we can put a two step routine together. Some golden rules that you want to take into consideration before delivering this type of workout to your class is to ensure that everybody has the same step height. Your options are to go front and back or side to side and depending on the movement of your two-step routine, each side, whether it be front or back, would need to have the same step height. So they want to be in rows. I also like to teach this routine in its entirety on one step first so they're familiar with the choreography, they're familiar with the moves and then I layer it between the two steps and that's just a, an additional layering process. The routine I've got for you today is relatively simple. It has two moves, a basic step and a knee repeater. And I've layered that between the two steps to give you the idea. Um, from there, you can advance your choreography. But my advice is to keep the choreography relatively simple because it's the concept that we want to embrace rather than the moves themselves. So let's get underway. Okay, everybody, let's get underway. So we'll just come behind your step. And this step we're gonna call your home step or your base step. And you just want to start with a little march on the right leg. And as I said, we're just going to teach the routine in its entirety on your home step first. So can we start with a little step touch side to side? Now, you just want to get your students used to moving and getting used to their step height first of all. Can we take this into a single knee lift? All right, we'll just try four more. Now from a single knee, we're gonna to go to a repeater three times. Now for the filming purposes today, I'm gonna to keep the repetitions relatively small and relatively tight. But if you're teaching this in your normal class, you would lengthen them out. Back to the single knee. Now, do repeat it three times. Go again, single knee. And repeat it three. Perfect. Just one more practice. Here we go. Now repeat it three times. On your left leg, drop in four basic steps. Lovely, there's our 32 counts. Let's go one more time. Single knee over to the left. Now repeat it three times. Drop in four basics this time on the right leg. Now believe it or not, but that's our routine. Let's have one more practice. So we've now taught it on one block. The job is to teach it between two. Basic step four. Well done. Let's have one more practice. Single knee. And repeat it three. Your basic steps on the right leg, give me four of those. Okay, now I'm gonna show you the single, single knee. Over here we go from the front step to the back step, then repeat it three. Stay on your home step, do four basics. So you wanna get them used to moving front to back. Let me show you one more time. Single knee to the front, single knee to the back. Now repeat it three. Stay on your home step, do four basics. My advice to you is to show your students right and left side. Single knee, come with me now. Move to the back, move to the front, and do three knees. Now basic step on the left, here we go. So let that sink in, let that soak in your members. Single knee, one on the front, one on the back, and now do three repeater. Basic step on the right leg. Okay, let's move on. You would do that a lot more, but just for today, we're gonna to do something else. Repeater three. You do four basics on your home step. Watch the first two, over the top, over the top, 
and I'll join you for the last two. Okay, try that with me. That's relatively easy. Repeat it three. Stay on the home step. We go over the top and we finish with two basic steps. All right, let's have one more practice. Single knee front, single knee back. Repeat three. Stay on your home step and go over the top. Okay, the last change is gonna be with these final two basic steps, but I'll wait until we get to the right side for that. Over the top again. So the change is gonna be here. Let me demonstrate for you the last two basic steps. Single knee front, back, repeat a three. Now, as you know, over the top, you do the two basic steps, have a look what I do. I go over your back step and then come forward. Let me show you one more. Single knee, repeat a three. Now, over the top everyone, you do the last two basic steps, have one more look. I go over the back step, come forward from the beginning, single knee. Now, three knees in a row. We're gonna go over the top. Now everyone move together. Straight through the middle, over your back step. Come forward, single knee from the beginning. Now, option for you is to really start to get your students to lift high and add some impact into their workout. Single knee, here we go. Now, option for you on the knee repeater is to make it into a knee pendulum. Over the back. Perfect. Single knee, here we go. To the back. Now repeat a knee or knee pendulum. We're gonna go over. Now, we can add some rhythm into this. Let me show you how. Single knee, now knee pendulum. We're gonna go over the top. The last two, I'll go chasse, pause, chasse. All right, let's go one more time left and right and pop it all together for you. Over the top. The first two, we jump for impact. The last two, we can add some rhythm. Single knee. Repeat a three. Okay, over the top we go. Step straight through the middle. Go over the back step. Chasse. Now, step touch. Hold it there. Well done. So there we go. A routine using two blocks. A step routine designed around direction and movement. As you'll notice, the choreography was relatively simple. Single knee, single knee, repeat a knee, and basic step. But when you design that around the two blocks, it takes on a whole new, a whole new concept. Remember the golden rules. Have everybody in the same row, same step height, same row. Teach the routine on one platform and show them the left side and the right side first and then get everybody to move together. What you'll notice is that your experienced steppers will see the change once and then they'll want to move. You've got to keep good control of the class here because if they move to the back, then the person behind them is still going to be there. So keep strong with your cueing. Okay, enjoy that two-step routine and I'll see you next time.